This is Michael from Carol Baris and we're going to show in this video a short tutorial about how the prefabs of our package work. So the first thing you can do is to go to A measure and settings and you will see the following. First of all, you have here the link of this video tutorial and then you will have also the uh, link to the AR core in case you don't have it. Then we will have the point, line, circle, square, polygon and cube prefabs that we're going to talk in, about in this tutorial. Finally, we have the show debug on screen that will make uh, all the messages appear on the screen in a red color. And then we have the option of the text faces, always camera. We'll see that in just a few minutes. First of all, let's start with the point prefab. The point prefab has an important uh, structure which has to be respected in order to make the package work. So we have the point that will have a capsule collider that is used to move the point around space. And then we have another uh, point inside that is going to have another render that uh, it represents just uh, a point in the middle. Then we have the text, if we want to add some text on it, in this case it's disabled, but you can also enable it and add some text on top of the, of the uh, point if you want. Then we're going to check how the line has to be structured. The line has to have, um, first of all, uh, as you can see here, as you can see here, we have, first of all, the the line that will be uh, changed in scale in order to fit the direction of the of the different points we're going to add in our scene and then we have the text this is important to be respected uh, in this order that appears in this in this structure okay so we have the text inside the text we have the canvas and then we have the image and the text itself then if we go to the um, to the circle you will see that we have now two text areas where we have the air the area or the surface that is going to be calculated that is going to be in this yellow color and then we have another line and the circle itself this is going to be the uh, the game object that is going to create the shape of this circle. Then if we go to the square, you will see that the square is composed by a quad, a text, four points and four lines that are also the same prefabs which are referenced inside the same game object. The polygon has also a lines game object in which the different lines are going to appear and then has a text for the area or the surface of the of the polygon finally the cube is going to have this structure here it's going to have eight points 12 lines two handles a vertical offset and the text volume. The vertical offset, as you can see here, is used to move the vertical point accordingly to the vertical direction of the cube. That is managed in another script that we're going to see at the end of this tutorial. Now let's talk about the different scenes. We have the AR scene, which is the one that you have to export into your device. And we have the non air scene that is prepared to test the functionalities of the program or of the package inside Unity. This is done because the instant preview sometimes doesn't work properly. So in this uh, situation, you are able to test how the package works. So in fact, we're going to test it here. First of all, what we do is we create points. This is a point feature based package, which means that we have to create different points in order to create then objects on top of them. So to create a line, 
first of all we need two points to do so we select the point feature here at the top and we introduce another point then we select the line feature and we create a line notice that with the handle that is the first option here we are able to move the different points and the distances will appear in the or we will adjust and appear in the different texts as you can see in this demonstration you can also erase the last uh, created object and in the case we want to create for example a circle the circle is also defined by two points we have the center which will be the first point and the radius which will be the second point whenever we create a circle you can see that the area is also calculated and we can also move the center and the handle of the distance of the radius a square is similar to a circle in creation we need two points and the area will display at the center and we have also the distance of a side you can also move the center as you wish and the point that will be the handle for positioning the uh, maximum distance of the side finally we have the polygon tool which needs different points to create a polygon the idea is to select them in order and close the polygon as you can see the polygon is also going to interact with the user in order to change the values of the area that is the surface inside and also the distances of the sides finally we have the cube element the cube element is a feature that allows to create 3d objects in our scene as you can see here we have two handles for the x and for the z directions in order to change the sizes of the cube and also a y handle in order to move the superior or the top part of the cube up or down you can see how the distances are displayed here here and here as well as the volume of the cube let's move on to the scripts the AR measure pro is the first script that is going to manage the touch input of our project this means that wherever we click on us on a part of the of the of the screen with our finger we're going to be able to get the touch information as you can see here then what we are going to do is to check the different phases of the uh, touch bent in this in this case what we're going to do is to check if something has moved on our scene and we're going to use different raycasts in order to as you can see here obtain the information and the game objects that are being moved in our scene notice that our codes are fully commented so in this case we're not going to explain line by line but you can check the documentation for further information about the scripts and its classes then we have the create circle the create circle it's a script that allows you to um, buy the function set parameters to create a circular shape and at the same time the different parts of the line and the different parts of the text area that is contained here so in fact whenever we create any of these objects any of the of the prefabs that we have seen in the previous part of this video we have a set parameters feature we have the same thing for the cube, for the polygon, for the square. Now, 
the debug the other debug console is going to create a list of information that is going to be stored in the debug text so for example if we hit play and we create a point that information is going to display here in the debug text it's going also to say that it has obtained a hit and the touch has ended so all that information is going to be displayed there the drawing manager it's maybe the core of this package let's open it and check the main features of it the um, the core of, of this uh, script is that we have two points that are or x points that are going to be selected so we will have first of all the first selected and the second selected point that are used for creating the lines creating the squares creating the circles but we also have a list of points that are going to be stored a list of points that are going to be stored in the poly points whenever we are creating a polygon so let's check how a point is created first and then we'll see the example of how a line is created we checked first of all if the selected prefab is equal to the point prefab this means that we're going to check if the user has selected a prefab that corresponds to the point in this case we add a point as you can see here by the game object instantiation function and we choose the point prefab then we change the um, position and the orientation to the hit pose the hit pose is given by the AR measure pro script we do something similar with the line but in this case as you can see we need to know if we have selected one game object and then we have selected a second game object in this case we create a line and we set the parameters using this first selected and the second selected transforms similar to this is the circle procedure to creating uh, the circumference the line is the script that is going to check for each update if the points are going to be changing of one position to another and in the case that they change we are going to update the information of the line as you can see here with the different uh, values of the, of the distance and also with the position of it if we choose text faces always camera which is related to the script look at camera here we apply the changes and we uh, we hit play you will see now that the lines are going to have a text that is facing the camera always as you can see here it's not going to follow the direction of the line and instead are going to display in our horizontal way to revert the changes do the same thing by saying apply, ch apply changes with the text faces always camera set to false you can do that also going to the prefabs to the text prefab and in canvas check that the look at camera script is disabled after that we have the non AR scene that is going to be the interface used for this scene that is going to be the uh, the one that is not used for augmented reality and then we have the permissions and permissions rational dialog that are used in order to make you accept the camera feedback in case you don't or you are not able to make it work you can use these permissions then we have the point prefab 
or the point script, sorry, which is going to, as you can see here, uh, have a function that is going to change the position whenever we drag on it. And finally, the triangulator, which is a basic script that allows uh, to calculate the different meshes in the case of a polygon. So this is all regarding the scripts, regarding the prefabs, and regarding how the package works. With, I think I have covered everything about the package. If you have further information, please contact us to the email. The email will also appear in the AR measure settings here. We're going to put them email. So to do that, we're going to show just a little bit how to modify this window in order to make it customizable for you. So you can go ahead to scripts, editor, and window. And in fact, if you want to add some text or something similar to it, you can go ahead and add the following. You can go and say, we copied this, that is going to be a layout, and we're going to add our email here, which is michael.solar.bit at gmail.com. We can also add some separation between the different lines. And this will be all for this tutorial. Thanks very much for watching. And if you have any doubts, please contact us to the email that is going to appear just in a few seconds here. michaelsolar.beatty at gmail.com. Thanks very much for watching.